Hey guys, welcome to Kids Club. It is the start of the Christmas season. And has anybody been getting any Christmas cards in the mail? We've gotten one of our first Christmas cards. And there's a um, board at the church where people can put Christmas cards. And sorry, Ashley's a little tired this evening. And we're just trying to see what's happening with our Christmas season. But this is a special time in the church and some people call it a season. And I promised at the end of last week's message that I was going to teach you a little bit and we were going to do our devotions for the next four weeks, plus a couple extra special ones about something special, a special season. And we do it if you attend our church and maybe at your church, we do it on the Sunday mornings. We talk about it on Sunday mornings and there's something with a wreath. Anybody know what it is? Ashley, can you tell them what it's called? An Advent wreath. It's Advent. An Advent is kind of a weird, funny word. Has anybody heard of it before? Advent means the coming of, an oncoming event. And so the beginning of Advent is a time when there's the hanging of the greens and the decorating of the church with wreaths and um, bow, um, boughs of evergreen and we put up poinsettias. And so we did that at our church last Saturday and got the church all decorated for Christmas. And we brought out the Advent wreath, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. But sometimes people have something, too, that they do at home called an Advent calendar. Do any of you guys have an Advent calendar? Now, this one is a friend's one. And Ashley, can you open it up to show what it looks like inside? And some of yours maybe have chocolates in them. Every day is listed on that calendar. There's one through 25 is listed on that calendar and it shows you, you open one up each day to count down till Christmas. But there's different kinds of Advent calendars too and there's a different kind of Advent that we're talking about. These ones are very fun and lots of excitement to have and sometimes they have treats in them, sometimes they have other little things in them. I've even seen some that have books in them or some that have Legos in them. There's really, those are all fun Advent calendars and they bring on the coming of Christmas. But there's another part of Advent that's really important and it doesn't have anything to do with chocolate or fun things. It has to do with talking about the symbols of Christ coming. Now at church, this is our Advent wreath for our house. And it's a little bit different than the one that we have at the church. Ours is has a the Holy Family and an evergreen tree. And our candles sit on the sides. And these are the same color candles that we have at church. And they, we light them and we do our Advent. But some places also have a circular wreath. And at church, ours is circular with some evergreen. And that circle reminds us of God himself. His eternity, which is endless, like a circle that has no beginning and no end. And the reason that we hang the greens or the evergreen at the church speaks of hope that we have in Jesus, the hope that we have in God for newness and renewal and eternal life. And the reason that we use candles is because candles symbolize the light of God coming into the world through the birth of his son. And it also reminds us what God called for us to be. He called for us to be the light of the world as we reflect the, sun, the light of God's grace to others. So we have the four outer candles. The four outer candles represent the period of waiting during the four Sundays of Advent, which last Sunday was the first Sunday. And these four Sundays represent the period of waiting, which symbolize all the centuries of waiting. Did you know that there were four centuries, 400 years between when the prophet Malachi prophesied the birth of Christ and when Christ came? Now, the colors of the candles vary. Some other churches use different colors, but we traditionally use the purple and the pink. There are three purple candles and one pink candle. And at the church, we already have in the center a white candle, which is the Christ candle. Now, here at my house, we bring our Christ candle out on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. So there are, each Sunday represents a can, the, the theme and each Sunday we light a candle and a scripture and sometimes a reading and a prayer happens. And then the next Sunday we light the candle we lit first and all the subsequent candles. Now, the first candle is traditionally the candle 
of hope. Sorry, let me see if I can get this lit for you guys here this morning. The first candle is the candle of hope or prophecy. And this draws attention to the anticipation of the coming of the Messiah. And that is how, and we talk about it through the hope that weaved its way all through the Old Testament. And an Advent calendar is a great way for us to be able to, an Advent calendar or Advent readings with your family is a great way for you to continue to be ready for Christ's coming and celebrating the Christmas season. So, but if you don't do that, I'm going to share one with you each week so we can have four of them plus some special ones. So the things we get for Christmas will not last as long as the things we get from Christ. We, I'm sorry, we can get bored with our toys and we can get, we can grow out of clothes and things that we get for Christmas, but what we get from Christ this Christmas and always will be hope, peace, joy, and love. Why do we light the Advent candle? Well, the first Advent candle is the candle of the prophets and it stands for hope. Jesus is our hope. He died on the cross to save us and give us everlasting life, the light and hope of the darkness and the darkness will never put it out. And we light the candle. The first candle is the candle of hope. And this past week, when we thought about Advent, we're gonna call this until it comes, this is Christmas Advent. And like I said, it's the, the event, to the event, which means to come. And this is a time when we prepare for something very important and for someone very important. Do you guys know who we're talking about? I've said it quite a few times. We're preparing for Jesus. The church is counting down to the day that we remember when Jesus was born. So for the next four weeks at church and here at Kids Club, we're going to prepare for Jesus by sharing the story of his birth in very special ways. And at home, I hope that you guys are doing some preparations for Christmas this year. And you know what? I know that this year is going to be different. This year is not going to have the parties and it's not going to have some of the events that we have in normal years. But do you know what? This Christmas is still going to be special, just like every other Christmas, because Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus. And we can do that in our homes and in small groups or with big events. This year is going to be a year for us to remember the meaning of the season you know, I get very busy and I bet you guys and your families do too. We can get very busy as we prepare for the holidays. When we worry about the food that we're going to have and the cookies and making sure we have the right presents and, and all the Christmas parties. But we need to remember to not get so busy. We need to remember that Christmas is a time that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And we thank God for the hope, peace, joy, and love that Jesus brings into our lives. So today with the first candle lit, the candle of hope, and it just that flame keeps going, doesn't it? The candle of hope. We remember that Jesus brings hope to our lives and he wants us to bring hope to others. And boys and girls, you know, this season of COVID has also been a season and it's also been a time and this pandemic has been a season in our lives and it's been a season where some people don't have hope. And so that's why I felt it was so important to share Advent with you guys and share that Jesus wants us to remember that he is the hope for all of us through all of this. And so over the next few weeks, we'll light the candles of peace, joy, and love also. And then I'm going to do a, and then we are going to do a special message. And I might even be able to do one on Christmas day too, where we're going to light the fifth and last candle, the Christ candle that will remind us of the birth of Jesus and that we can give thanks to God for giving us the most precious gift ever. I love you guys and I miss you. Sorry for the long message, but I think Advent is one of my favorite times of the year. I have so many memories of having Advent at my house with my mom and dad and getting to take turns reading and singing. So when you guys watch this video, I ask you to do one thing. I ask you to think of your favorite Christmas carol. And can you send me a message of what that was? And let me know that you guys sang your favorite Christmas carol after you watch this today's message about hope. So let's pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity. Father, I thank you for all the boys and girls and grown-ups that watch the Kids Club messages and help us to be together throughout this time and this strange season of the pandemic. But Father, this season that we're in right now is the season of hope and the season of Advent as we're awaiting the celebration of your birth and the remembrance of you coming to earth to give us the gift that you gave in that what will ultimately come in our remembrance at Easter. But Father, it all started with you allowing your son to come to earth. And Father, we thank you for that. And we thank you for this special time. Take care of each and every one of us. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming tonight.